Morning, everyone. <laughs> Morning, Bobby, Barbara. Oh, people still coming. So, all righty. So let's just settle. However it is you're showing up this morning is totally fine, whether you've just rolled out of bed or whether you've been up for several hours. It's actually a little bit easier to meditate in the mornings because you haven't already started interacting with the outside world. So if your feet are on the ground because you're sitting at your computer, have them in a parallel position, about a hips width apart, shoulders aligned with the hips, and just lengthen your spine. Put some space in between the vertebrae. Imagine you're just getting a little bit longer. Allow your shoulders to drop down. Relax the throat, the chest and the belly, and your limbs, hands, fingers, and feet and toes, and just take a nice breath. Just relax. And just feel the sensations of the air flowing in through the outside of the nostrils as you're inhaling and exhaling. So you may feel that sensation at the base of the nose, the tip of the nose, or somehow somewhere in the middle, depending on where you've been trained, what the shape of your nose is even. I just, uh, and I, I really do prefer this method of focusing just simply because we're breathing all the time. It's a real, for me personally anyway, it's a real anchor. And then just notice if there's any sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. Try not to follow them with the mind. And then just check the thoughts as they're arising, trying to put some space in between each one. And then whatever it is that's arising this morning, it's completely fine. Try not to judge or criticize or think it should be any different. It's just what it is today. And more importantly, it will change. And one way to help with that process is to just allow the thoughts to arise and then Rather than engaging, just let them flow. Try not to get involved with the story. Just let, so just let them go. So we just imagine we're sitting on the bank of our river, watching that river flow on by. In your mind's eye, is that river still and flowing slowly, or is it is it clear? Is it muddy? Does it have debris in it? And while you're sitting on the bank of that river, you're free from the river. We have all these people in our lives. Some of them we absolutely adore, we love. They're very, very dear to our hearts. And then there's those people in our lives who are a little bit difficult for us. And then, then there's our 
strangers and remembering they could change place at any time. Also good to remember that they are all equal. They're <clears throat> the same as you and me. Even though we tend to think that the ones we don't like are a little bit more ugly right now. The ones we adore and love are absolutely perfect. Can do no wrong. But actually we are really all the same. It's just how we view it. And we're all the same because everybody just wants to be happy. Nobody wants to suffer. And everyone has this extraordinary capacity for this enlightened mind. So we'll do this practice on Medicine Buddha today for the benefit of all these people of our life and for our dear Venerable Rabina, wishing for her to have a long life and stable health. So with this Medicine Buddha practice, I'm going to, Mary, I think I'll share the image now. Where is it? Okay, is it shared? Can't see it. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mary. Sorry, everyone. So imagine the medicine Buddha, this uh, blue light Buddha, a few inches above the crown of your head. You can imagine this is like a, almost like a hologram. And, and if visualizing is difficult for you, just imagine you get this sense of this blue light of the crown of your head, this healing light, a couple of inches. It can be a little bit uh, the same size as your head or larger, it just depends up to you. And then if you are okay to imagine a little bit more detail, you can imagine this Buddha is sitting on a, a moon disc and this moon disc is in the center of a, a lotus and he has his legs crossed in the full Vajra uh, with one position with one foot over the opposite thigh and he's facing the same way as you. His body is made of this blue light. And maybe you can think of a very beautiful sapphire light, blue light. And every aspect of this visualization is not only made of light, but it radiates light. And Buddha's uh, hand is resting on his right knee in the gesture of granting sublime realizations. So that's, as you can see, his hand is facing outwards and he's holding with his thumb and forefinger a medicinal plant, an aurora plant. His left hand is in his lap and it's in the, it's in the just, uh, concentration mudra with his palm facing upwards and he's holding a bowl filled with the nectar. And this nectar is the medicine for curing all our difficult states of mind, negative karma, uh, illnesses. He's wearing the three saffron robes of a monk and he's he has all the marks and signs of a fully enlightened Buddha. And he has this aura around his head and around his body. So there's quite a lot going on above the crown of your head right now. So let's just sit for a moment, imagining that he is the embodiment of all the enlightened beings and their 
extraordinary qualities and try and f- imagine this peace, compassion, love emanating from him. So this is all about the crown of your head. So let's just meditate on that for two or three minutes. You can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher, if you have one, manifesting in this form for your benefit. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Supreme Assembly. On my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. And we'll do the four immeasurables. It's a very sweet prayer. <clears throat> May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. And may all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger that holds some close and others distant. And there's just one little prayer for the Medicine Buddha to the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Medicine Guru, King of Lapis Light. I prostrate, go for refuge, and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. So now imagine this just many, many rays of white light flowing down from the heart and the body of the Medicine Buddha. And this light fills your body completely and it purifies all disease and afflictions and the cause of these problems and all of our delusions and our mental obscurations and all these negativities leave your body in the form of thick black liquid like engine oil and your body becomes as clean and clear as crystal. So we'll recite the mantra and just do the best you can in order to visualize this happening. So you just imagine light pouring into you, filling you, and then just pushing out all the negativities through the lower parts of the body. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Taya Tahom, Bekanze, Bekanze. Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate So Taya Tahom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate So 
Taya ta hon bekanze bekanze Maha bekanze bekanze Praja samagate soha Taya ta hon bekanze bekanze Maha bekanze bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Ta Hom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Ta Hom Bekanze Bekanze Maha bekanze bekanze raja samagate soha taya ta hom bekanze bekanze maha bekanze bekanze raja samagate soha just imagine now your body is completely purified and you feel blissful and light. So we'll just meditate for two or three minutes. Now, this time, next time, we'll recite the mantra again and imagine this golden light flowing from Medicine Buddha's heart, filling your body completely, and this time bringing all the realizations and all the blessings of the path to enlightenment and all the qualities of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So you can imagine the same things happening to all those other people of your life. And you can imagine that as as we're reciting the mantra, you actually are receiving all these blessings, inspiration, love, compassion, wisdom, creativity. Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Raja Samangate Soha Tayatahon Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayatahon Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayatahon Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayatahom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayatahom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayatahom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Really try and imagine that you have received all of these blessings and your body feels blissful and light. Now imagine that the medicine Buddha melts into light and this light absorbs into you through the crown of your head and kind of melts into your heart and your mind becomes one, your mind, your teacher's mind, medicine Buddha's mind, becomes one with all the enlightened mind of all the Buddhas. So we just meditate like this for another or three or four minutes and during this time allow your mind to rest in a state that's completely clear and peaceful still and free from its usual busy thoughts its conceptions and try and recognize that this is your true nature this state of mind
and just expand your mind. Okay, everyone, just relax. Let's just dedicate all the positive energy, all the creative energy we've generated during this med meditation together for the benefit of all those people of our life. And Hin, I wanted to wish you very, very all the best today. And please do take care. So dedicate for Hin, for her health and long life, so she can keep coming back to our meditations. <laughs> And may the meditation we did today bring true mental and physical health to all sentient beings. Okay, lots of love. And also this black cat taking up most of the screen there at Coral's place. <laughs> all right. Lots of love, everybody. I'll see some of you this evening. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Mary, for jumping in. All right, bye. Thanks, Arlene. Thank you.